from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Megan Gold. Well, it is always fun to look back on a month when we reach the end of the month and all of us, I'm sure, know that it has been an above normal temperature month across eastern Oklahoma. And for those of us that love warm weather, it sure has been nice. Our average high 63.3 degrees, nearly 10 degrees above normal. Our morning temperatures have been warm as well. And in terms of rainfall, we have fallen below normal and snowfall as well. Now tonight we will add uh, just a little bit to the, that uh, rainfall amount, but not going to be a whole lot. This just in our temperatures for today topped out at 56 and we have now reached the third warmest tied for the third warmest February on record with that average temperature when you average the morning temperatures and the afternoon at 51.1 degrees. So near record setting still going down in the books, even though we're not the all time warmest highs today, upper 50s, a little bit warmer where we had more sunshine today, low 50s down to the south of Tulsa. Overall, a really nice and mild day. Now, as you know, we've talked about it the last several days. Fire danger continues to be a big concern, especially out across West Texas, into New Mexico, Colorado, and off to our north. Now, we got a little bit of a break from the fire danger today. We still had a good breeze, but our fire danger goes back up tomorrow and especially into the weekend. Now, showers have been increasing from southwestern Oklahoma into central Oklahoma and now our area here over the last several hours. We're still dry to the east of the metro, but hearing many reports of sleet falling and in spots where temperatures have dropped off as rain is cooling off the atmosphere. Uh, that is where we're seeing that sleet fall and that's mainly back to the west of Tulsa, especially in some of these darker colors, the yellows, the reds. That is where sleet is most likely to be at this time. Even even though we're not seeing the changeover to some of that pink on our radar here in the metro from Brookside down at Tulsa Hills and Jinx. We've had a few sprinkles moving on in, but at this time uh, we are dry and we'll see kind of that on and off shower chance through about 9 10 o'clock tonight and then we'll be dry after about midnight. The clouds were thickening up this afternoon. We had good sunshine earlier today, uh, but now our temperature is falling into the 40s. The south breeze uh, beginning to drop off and our humidity is still very low from Tulsa back to the east. But as showers increase to the west of the metro, eastward, we're going to see that atmosphere continue to saturate and our relative humidity values coming up. But temperatures, like I said, where the rain has been falling, have really, really begun to drop off. Already 30s in Stillwater and Pawnee. Bristow, 40 degrees right now, 45 in Old Mulgee, and still upper 40s with those clouds to the east of the metro. So about a 40% chance for the showers and the sleet mixing in this evening. And then by the time you head out the door tomorrow morning, we're dry and sunshine returns for a really midday Friday into the afternoon. We'll have a few lingering clouds tomorrow morning, a little bit warmer than this morning with 30s across the area. Our south winds will pick up once again and temperatures are back in the 60s. Now hold on to your hats because we're talking 80s for the weekend. We'll have sunshine and this is when our fire danger is especially going to be high. A gusty south wind 15 to 25 miles per hour on Saturday and then on Sunday we're talking 20 to even 35 mile per hour gusts, 40 mile per hour gusts. Temperatures Sunday morning, upper 50s by the afternoon. We're back in the 80s for nearly all of us. Now our rain chances, once we get through this evening, we're dry for the weekend. High pressure settles back on in. Now Monday into Tuesday, there will be a system nearby. Looks to bring some sprinkles mainly to the east of the metro and off into portions of Arkansas and then a more impactful system as we go into Thursday and Friday maybe our first good chance at some storms for March. But overall, we continue with this above normal temperature trend. Nobody's complaining about that. I know. I think. All right. Thanks, Megan.